Good morning and welcome to another video. Uh, this one I'm replacing a broken TV aerial. It's up on a customer's chimney um, and it's been there a very long time and as you'll see in a minute it's hanging off, it's snapped in various places in the wind so I'm going to replace it with a chimney bracket that has the ratchet uh, mechanism on it. So it's basically a ratchet strap chimney bracket. Um, Really useful things, um, relatively new on the market. Well, no, I've been using them for a few years, but um, they used to be just the wire lashing kits that used to go around the chimneys. Um, they've been around for donkey's years, but I use these new uh, ratchet chimney brackets, uh, ratchet strap chimney brackets, and I'm going to show you what one looks like on this video. So, yeah, stay tuned, and right, let's get on with it. Right then. Despite how it looks, it's actually quite warm, but in the shade, I'm freezing. Right, so this is chimney bracket. As you can see, the corner of the chimney is in there. So it's at right angles. Your pole attaches here. You can see that, so you've got your pole going up through here, through some V-bolts. And a ratchet goes right, a strap, sorry, goes right around the chimney with these and a tightened up with these ratchets okay great little things makes putting chimney rigs on uh, chimney brackets on far quicker than it used to um, so yes yeah, so I'm gonna get that up and I'll get I've got the old chesty cam thingy on I'll get up the ladder and show you the state of what's up there now and why we're changing it over okay okay hopefully you can hear me and hopefully you can see something. Well, that's the state of the aerial now. That's the bracket. And yeah, oversized aerial for something like this around here anyway. So there's a lot of weight on there and eventually it's given way. And it's broken. Oh God, unfit. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna whip this whip this all off. So basically cut that wire, take this whole bracket down, replace it with what I just showed you, that chimney bracket, new pole, new aerial. I should be able to connect to the same cable. But what I will do is have the bracket this side rather than there because what the last person's done, I believe it's a DIY job. So fair play, they've had a go, but yeah, it didn't stand the test of time, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to have the bracket here with the pole here, so the aerial's not directly looking straight over the chimney chimney pot, because look at the state of that, it's so black and sooty. Yeah, if I've got the aerial pointing away from the chimney stack, which it will be, it'll be going pointing that way, should look after it a little better, but they could do the new cowling on here as well, because that's minging. Right. I'm going to get this taken down. I'm going to get plastered in soot and stuff, aren't I? So I hope you can see this and I hope you can hear me all right. Table. A bit sooty on the outside, but you know, a bit black, but functionally it's fine. Right, so this wire that goes around it, I'm just going to chop, cut that, and take it all down. Sometimes you lose these uh, little corner protectors, they roll down the roof, but 
it'll be fine if it does, it doesn't kind of weigh anything, there's a little flat roof down there. So I'm going to hold with my right hand, I'm going to hold this area up. You can see. I'm going to hold the area here, obviously, because when I cut it, it's going to want to go. So here we go. Yep. Okay, so that's down, so I'm going to take this down while we're up here. Look at that view. Beautiful. Right, let's get this down. And I'll come back to you in a minute, alright? Right, so how it works is you've got that bracket I showed you. And you've got this real really tough sort of plastic nylon strapping it's I mean it is stupidly tough yeah you break your teeth trying to cut it with your teeth but um yeah so you've got to measure out enough strapping to get around the chimney so it's only two bricks by two bricks so I always do a little bit too much because I'd rather have a bit of excess so one side two sides three sides Four sides, so that'll be enough plus change. Cut it off. And that sits down behind there. Right. So now, you take your strap in, make a little fold in it, like so. We crimp the end, so we've got that. You see that bit? I feed it through one of those. I don't know what you want to call them. That. <laughs> see the ratchet. Give it a couple of turns just to. Hold that in place. Right, that is ready to take up the chimney now and strap around the chimney, which I'll record me doing, but I apologise now if the camera angles aren't great because it's hard to keep this, give you a good shot of what I'm doing because I'm going to be moving around the chimney and whatnot, but I'll try. I'll have a look if it looks really crap when I uh, go to edit it. Just that bit will be cut out and then I'll just show you the finished product. So fingers crossed we'll see. Okay, so like I said, I hope you can see what I'm doing and hope you can hear me. Oh, lady's in the garden now, so I might not do much talking, otherwise it'll look like... Lovely day! <laughs> it is! Right. Look like a mental person if I'm talking to myself, but here we go. So, get your strap. Around the chimney. Yeah, I've done way too much here. I do that every time. There are many installers out there might think, oh my god, what are you doing? You don't want to do it like that. Cut some excess off. You're doing it the hard way, Gwil. Right. Let's have a look at your way then. Right. So, see what I'm doing? That strap goes through that ratchet. And see the shape of the bracket now? clamps around there. So we've got the strap going round a brick, not round a join, round a brick part, okay?
if I'm keeping level, so. Make sure the strap's nice and straight just so it looks tidier. And here we are, look. If you can see that. Start tighten it up. That's already really tight. That's nice and tight. There we are. So that was really strong. That's not moving anywhere. And it's a lot. This, the uh, the plastic strapping or nylon strapping. It's far more forgiving on the bricks, you know, because a wire can just cut into them. You get those little plates that I uh, just, you know, that I just knocked off. But if there's even half a centimeter, if less than that movement in those wire lashing kits. Over time, with the wind moving the pole, it'll slowly start cutting away at the brick. So these are far more forgiving on the brick. So yeah, and far quicker to install. Okay. Yeah. Another one. That's another click. Right. Yeah, that's fine. That is well on there. That's not moving at all. So I'll chop off the excess just to make a look. Tidy. And now, got a couple of these V bolts in for the new pole, obviously. for the pole to slip in there got the existing cable here which will attach to it and yeah we're ready to go right i'm gonna get down now and put the aerial together okay So as you can see, after that time lapse video, the aerial I always use, the six foot pole, ready to be attached to the new bracket. Okay, so, let's drop that in there. See that? Yeah. Finger tight. Trying to get the right camera angle, right? Right. That his finger tight. I'm gonna get the meter on him and get him aligned. So while I faff around doing this, 
just want to thank you again for watching the videos and all of those that have subscribed. Up to about 170 odd now, slowly getting there at a snail pace. But you know, I really appreciate all 170 odd of you subscribers. Thanks a lot. I'll try and get some more content out now. The uh, the weather's changing, the lights. Yeah, um, what, was I, what am I trying to say? The clocks go forward this coming Sunday. Yeah, so more time in the day, more daylight hours to get work done. I'm not so rushed so I can get more videos. So, right, okay, so, well, so I'm just aligning this aerial. Don't know if you can see that, can you? Apologies if you can't see what I'm looking at, but I've got no idea what you can see with the camera against my chest. But yeah, that's as good as it's gonna get here, yeah? because we've got a hill over there. That's really good, you know, 65 decibels on frequency 25, it's 70 odd on 28, that's the BBC. It's good, it's fine across the board. see that for those of you that don't know that's 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 fine that's, that's 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 a healthy signal those of you that do will see the carrier to noise and the MER 33 MER yeah that's on the t the uh, UHF channel 25 which is middle right in the middle the lowest one is still absolutely fine so right i'm gonna fix that aerial to that location right. so yeah what i mean is i'm gonna tighten up the bolts on here now make sure it's all straight there yeah it's nice and straight When tightening, don't just do loads of turns on the one side of the bolt because it does twist the it does twist the pole slightly, and you can lose your alignment. Well, that's nice and straight. And that's sturdy. If you remember what it looked like before, this is a heck of an improvement. So often I run new cable. It's some say it's good practice too. Yes, of course it is. But if you want to try and run every run new cable in every single rig then that's your that's, that's your choice but if i can see the cable is absolutely fine for where i am there's no water damage i don't all the time it depends what the customer wants and what's what's required isn't it yeah. Get anything out of my linen pocket. Going back to what I was saying before, yeah, I appreciate all you subscribers, and uh, yeah, there'll be a lot more content coming out now. Try and get some different content in, I will. A lot of people ask me for satellite, satellite videos. Well, I'll be honest with you, I don't get much call for it apart from FreeSat. And that's quite few and far between. I don't really deal with European satellites. I have a few, couple of phone calls a year, but because I've never really been asked for it, I've never really taken an interest in pushing it, you know? And so I won't be doing much satellite work, just the off sat install or repairing an existing dish, you know? I don't, I'm, happier doing more TV aerial work because I get more jobs done in a day and it's it's just better for me but there'll be more CCTV work and certainly certainly more electrical work because 
yeah, that's that's getting busier now. And I've got a friend of mine who comes in with me on the bigger jobs. So yeah, so there'll be more of that. Right. That's a lovely day. Let's get this taped up now. So I'm gonna turn it off here. The aerial is up. I'm gonna tape the cable down this pole and then I'll basically take a photo and uh, get down and show you what it looks like from the ground, okay? Okay, there you go. That's it, so you can see the difference. Much better bracket, new aerial and pole, and that's correctly aligned, and the existing cable's going into the loft. I'm gonna go and test the signals inside now because I've got clean signals out here, but for all I know, it's going through an old amplifier, but should be fine, but we'll have a look. But either way, that's, that's enough for this video, okay? Okay, right, that's it. Um, just a short video uh, showing a, uh, a ratchet chimney bracket and uh, how they're used and how I installed them. Um, yeah, good pieces of kit. I tested the signals inside the house and it's fine. It's not going through any booster at all. It's uh, that's, that's all we need to do. So, right, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful and, yeah, see you on the next one. Cheers.